Hey everybody, it is me, Cactus Rocket Chip, and today I will be teaching y'all how to create custom Twitch emotes for your stream. Let's hop right into the video. What I mean by free custom emotes are basically images that you create, whether it being yourself, a picture you find online, and turning that into a PNG image and posting over to Twitch. As you can see right here, I'm spamming one of my emotes that is used a lot in my stream. It's basically my face cropped down to the size that is eligible for Twitch emotes. Now you can pretty much use anything you want for a Twitch emote. Let's say you want an emote of Shrek's face. Head on over to Google, type in Shrek or whatever you want. Here's a funny picture right here. Go ahead and right click, save image. Once you have the image that you want to use for your emote, you basically have to crop it down to a square size. Depending on what tool you have, if you go to edit, you know, change the resolution, square type, you want to crop as close as you can into Shrek's face or whatever you are choosing for your emote. Go to save options and save that right there. Now, if you are new to Twitch and you upload an emote, more than likely it's going to take some time for Twitch to approve it. But once you get through that, once you get through that, you should be able to use the emote instantly. So once you're back on Twitch, go ahead over to upload new standard emotes or the animated emotes. I might make a separate video for that. If this video gets 25 likes, I will make a separate tutorial how to make animated emotes on Twitch. For now, let's continue with standard. Tap on standard. Here it is, upload your emote. So wherever your picture went, you have to find it. In this case, it looks like it's gonna be as a PNG file. You could just do all files to locate it. In this case, this picture is a JPEG file. That means we do have to convert it to PNG. Yeah, Twitch will not allow that. We have to make it a PNG file. All you have to do is go to a website just to convert it, this is only if you need to convert your file to a PNG. If it's already a PNG file, then you are good to go. Upload, download, PNG. And just like that, we have our Shrek emote. Down here, you do have to give the emote a name. In this case, I'm just typing Shrek. That's how it's gonna look like and upload. Emote successfully uploaded to your collection. Once it's in your collection, you can basically add it now to your follower emote, subscriber emotes, and continuing the tier emotes. Right now for our example, we're gonna put it as a follower emote, which is a free emote followers get. To add it, you tap on the emote you want, right down here, slot assignment. I'm gonna put to follower. And just like that, we have Shrek. All right, let's go back and see if it uploaded correctly. Bingo, we have Shrek's face. That's awesome. Oh, but Cactus, what if I want a picture of my shelf? Well, we'll do the same exact thing. Here's a picture of me. Golly. What you're going to want to do is adjust the image, go into a square size, zoom all the way in into the face. You don't have to like zoom in that much, but if you want somewhat of the background, you can. I like just zooming in right into my face, just like that. <laughs> Once again, that picture might come out as a JPEG. In this case, you're going to want to convert it. Head on over to our free website, go on in and upload that picture. Once you upload it, just convert it to a PNG file. I have to keep moving my camera. Once you have the file as a PNG, upload, standard emote, and select the PNG file, and there you go. Don't forget to give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna do Cactus Smirk Upload, and there you have it. In this case, it seems all of my follower emotes are full. I'm going to add it to a subscriber emote slot assignment. Let's go ahead and put it to our tier one open slot. Bingo. Head on over back to Twitch chat to make sure it has been uploaded. And just like that, there it is. That's how you create free custom Twitch emotes for your channel. Now, I really love doing this personally because it gives me an opportunity to like upload pictures of my cat as an emote, pictures of my funny face <laughs> as an emote or just browse the internet to find anything that suits your channel. Once again, these are just ideas that I do to save money, to make emotes for free. If you guys know another way, drop a comment down below and tell me what you think. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, take care everyone.